I'm struggling with this partial fraction. I have an exam tomorrow, guys. I have lost hope. I know. Calculus 2, the first exam, is just all about integrations. In fact, I just gave out my first exam to my calculus students as well. It was hard, right? All the integrations, all the integration techniques, partial fractions, all that stuff. I do have a video on setting out the partial fractions and also the solving one, like ABCD, the constants for that. So you can check that out. The link will be in the description for you. For this one though, in fact, you do not need to use partial fractions. So let's go ahead and do that. And the reason is because it's nice. Inside here, we have x squared plus one. Here we have x squared plus one. So have a look. I am going to break this down like this. Here we have x squared plus one. Let me just write that down, yeah? Over this right here, parentheses x squared plus one squared, that denominator. And then we add, let's close it first. So that's the first integral, close that. And then we add the second integral. We have the five x on the top over the same denominator, x squared plus one squared, just like that. Are they equal? Yes. When we combine the fraction, we keep the denominator, and then x squared plus 1 is right here, and then we still have the plus 5x. And when you have a sum of integrals, right, you can just put them together, put them inside together, so this is okay. So now, how do we do it? For the first one, isn't this the same as that? So we can cancel one of them out. So the first integral is just asking you the integral 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. And you are done with that because that is just inverse tangent of x and then you are done. For this though, hmm, do we have to use partial fraction? No, because the derivative of the inner function here is 2x. And we happen to have an x right here so we can cancel it out. So let me show you. For this right here, I will just do a u sub. Let u equal to the inside, which is x squared plus 1 and differentiate both sides, du equals 2x dx. Isolate the dx, so dx equals du over 2x. Take this integral to the u world, we get the integral. Let's put a 5 on the outside, and then we have the x right here over that, but that is u. So we have u squared. And then dx is that, du over 2x. The x and x cancel, we have the over 2, put it on the outside, we get 5 over 2. And then we are looking at the integral, 1 over u squared, let's write that as u to the negative 2 power, and then we have the u here, yeah? Now, reverse power rule for this, go ahead and add 1 to the power, you get negative 1, divided by the new power. Yeah. Remember, this is the reverse power rule, this right here is not the ln. Do not just say ln absolute power of u squared, no. When you have u to the second power, reverse power rule. Ln is when you have a linear, like x to the first power or u to the first power, things like that. But anyway though, we will have what? Negative, yeah, so negative five over two, and then what, u to the negative one power, and we can put the u down here, so it's negative five over two u, like so. And then u is that. So I'm just going to replace that with that because I am about to run out of space. So x squared plus 1. I don't need a plus c because this is not the main integral. This is. So for this right here, we will get minus 5 over 2 parentheses x squared plus 1. And then at the very end, here we add a plus c. So hopefully this really helps. Best of luck to you on your Kyoto test. That's it.